Get ready now for this ballgame championship series report presented by Lone Depot. Zach Wheeler went six and two thirds against Miami, gave up just one run in the division series against Atlanta. He went six and a third, gave up uh, three runs. As soon as that's Wheeler, Gallon went six innings, gave up two runs against Milwaukee and against Los Angeles, went five and a third, gave up two runs. An RA9 war. All, Al, don't get upset. That's just runs allowed per nine war. That's with an innings component. And over the last two years, with the innings thrown in, the most quality has come from Zach Allen in all of baseball. He is like a poised, polished pitcher. Go ahead, Al. I'm glad you put that list up there because uh, I was just going to say, I don't know if he's going to be second or third in uh, NL Cy this year. Probably Snell gets it. Strider will be in there as well. Uh, what I like about this and what I'm going to show is that you have a guy, yes, he's got premium, premier stuff, but he pitches. And the first thing I want to show is his pitch percentages and his repertoire, right? So biggest thing that I want you to look at here is that he's elevated his percentage of his curveball the last two years. And it's really sent him to another elite level kind of pitcher. And also, I know often we hear uh, and watch in Major League Baseball, because he throws right at about 94, 95 miles an hour, but elevated fastballs. And that's a Brent Strom uh, situation with Brent being out in Arizona now. He was in Houston for many years, the pitching coach. So watch for those two things. But I want to accentuate there's a lot of pitches that he throws, and he commands the quadrant. So let's go into the, to a tape here, and I want to show exactly what I'm talking about with respect to how he carves up hitters. And I just took, uh, you know, as the season was uh, winding down, we got ran the pitch here. Cutter at 89 down in the zone. So this could be pretty quick. We got a high fastball, 94 swing, right? So we got 0-2 count, curveball in the dirt. Three different speeds, three different locations. Okay, let's go to another one here. It gets the Twinkies here. Cutter. In on his hands, 90 miles an hour. Change up off the plate, 87 miles an hour. Two different locations, two different speeds. Here comes that elevated high fastball at 92. It's not 98, 99, folks. All right, here we go. Cutter in on the hands. Loves throwing cutters in on the lefties. I get it. Change up off the plate. Ooh, a little bit of a wide zone there right there. Got the curveball. So, again, I'm showing the fact that he uses all of his pitches. All right, you're down. We're talking a lot about him. The, uh, uh, the Rangers pitched him well last night. You got the little slider first pitch. Fastball, 93 in on his hands. Here comes a changeup. His delivery is the same, and I'll get to that. Curveball down. Again, an assortment of pitches, quick work, throws a lot of strikes. If you look at this, this is just the Jordan at bat. We see this a lot now on, on these apps. High fastball at 93. That, this is what I'm saying. It's not 98, 99, 97, all the stuff that we see. But effectively, of how it comes out, he's got great deception. He throws across his body. Those are four pitches with, with respect to he throw. But let me get bigger on, on the heat maps. Here is the swing and misses from Zach Gallen this year. Average velocity, 93.6. That's right at about Major League average. So these are his swing and misses. If you look at this, you don't have to be a scout. You don't have to be a major league hitter. You can see how he takes advantage. Now it's left and right hit batters. High with his fastball. Slider cutter is going to be glove side because we're, we're the catcher here, right? So Zach's out there, glove side. Change up, which is arm side, right-handed pitcher. And now we got the big curve. You want the curve down in the zone. So we really, he, what he does and what we're watching is a guy that has mastered his command. He's got an effortless delivery with some deception and is able to get out front. Uh, if I, I, I hope we have that last bit, but he, he gets out over front. He's got a short stride. He crosses his body and he gets through it. And I think the deception is because his delivery is not hair on fire. Rawr, he's very smooth and easy and the ball jumps. And as a result of that, he gets a lot of foul balls and a lot of swing misses. So that's about what we're going to see with Zach Gallen, BK. He's poised, Al, right? Very poised. Balanced, poised, all of that. Yes, and he realizes too, BK, that this isn't about him trying to throw it 98 or win prizes yep. on the boardwalk. He has to use the whole quadrant and, and pitch. And that means u utilizing the whole zone and also expand when he gets ahead. Right. I, I'm, yeah, I like watching him pitch too. Like, I know he has a clue of what he's doing up there. Thank you, Al.